Hello folks and welcome. I have another subscriber requested video. This time on SysLinux OS. Um, subscriber wanted a quick overview and tour and that's what I'm going to do. I'll only open up certain tools in this video but I'm going to show you what you get on this particular distribution desktop. Now there's a couple of other ones that will sort of compete with this one as far as uh, tools are concerned and the functionality of what this is designed for. And I'm not going to make mention of those in here. So this is SysLinux OS release number 12, Mate Desktop. You can see the rest of my info here. Filming in 1920 by 1080, adjust your YouTube player accordingly, if necessary. Subscription key in the corner if you'd like to subscribe with yellow brackets. So again, this was requested by a subscriber. Let me first give you a description on SysLinux. Now, uh, DistroWatch has a nice culmination of information, so I do like that. I'll make this larger for you my way. So uh, SysLinux OS is what we're going to be talking about today. On 6-19-2024, an update was made. Today's date is the 28th of June, 2024. This distribution is out of Italy. It's Debian-based. They offer two desktops, the GNOME and the Mate. I'm using the Mate desktop, which I believe is their default. This is designed for system admins and system integrators. Not everybody's cup of tea due to the tools that are on board. However, it does have some nice tools. I don't use the popularity factor whatsoever on DistroWatch. I don't use uh, also the reviews either. But I do like the way that uh, DistroWatch culminates information. So they haven't had an um, update since 2022. So this month, 2024, was an update from 11 to 12.4. And you can see all the package info there. So syslinuxos.com if you want to test drive and download. You have the Mate ISO or the GNOME. All right. Um, I'll, I'll close that too quickly. Let me give you um, the passwords for this. The uh, SysLinux passwords uh, are admin and root. You can either uh, freeze this, handwrite it down, or even subscribe. Okay, on my YouTube site, if you are curious and not a subscriber, it's 383 videos and growing. And in this section here, I have my mission statement and more importantly, also have some links for you if you're looking for extra mouse themes and themes in general. I have lots of videos on all kinds of things. All right, I'm going to start at the bottom. Before I do that, though, I'm going to show you what a general um, wallpaper looks like and some of the things that I turned off. Some of you uh, uh, folks that are sysadmin would appreciate not filming personal information. So I have Conky turned off. So let me go to the control center briefly. I'll come back to this a little bit later and talk about startup. The first thing that I found personally, personally, was the login sound was quite blaring. Almost made me jump in my chair. So that's the first thing I turned off. This is normally on by default. The second thing, uh, I did this for privacy reasons. I turned off the Conky desktop. That's normally on. Okay, so I gave you the two passwords. So if you're just test driving it, you get the same effect. All right, so um, just two things. Now, what does the desktop normally look like? Well, I will open up a screenshot, which is redacted, but it's not my, my actual screenshot. So this is a redacted screenshot of somebody else's screen. I have blurred out the SSID and the public IP. But generally, this is what you're going to see. This, again, is a demo shot. OK. I'm going to change that background back to default. So um, basically, these are the ones that you get with the system. And this is normally on with Conky running. Toward the end of the video, I'll show you how to do one of these if you are curious. This is an instantaneous power off icon. You can make that in about 10 seconds. Since this is a Mate desktop, a lot of you folks may not be aware that you can do this. You can uh, 
independently resize icons. All of these are independent. Okay, it's resize icon. So like an XFC, for instance, or even num, I don't believe you can even do this. All right, moving along. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'll only up, open up a couple of tools along this process today. Again, this was requested by a subscriber for a mini tour and overview. But I will open up certain things. So if you want, I will give you NeoFetch information. Just as a reminder, what I'm filming in and what this is. 1920 by 1080, adjust your YouTube player. Sys Linux OS 12. Uses a 6.7 series kernel. This is a Mate desktop. And you can see my themes and icon sets and my CPU, GPU, and memory. Um, actually, I can just use Alt and F4 also to close windows. A lot of laptops also have F4. Uh, I don't know, readjusted for some other functions on laptops. So if you have one of those, you may have to just use the old old fashioned way. Or you can just type in exit. All right, PuTTY, SSH client, FileZilla, and a couple of three web browsers. Firefox ESR, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. HTOP is here, and of course you know that you can just open up terminal and type in top also. Wireshark, Lin SSID, Sparrow Wi-Fi, Angry IP Scanner, I always like that word. AnyDesk, TeamViewer, Packet Tracer, and of course Gparted. So even if you just wanted a Gparted tool, this also would, would be a nice tool to have in your repertoire. If you just have the ISO on a stick, USB stick. All right, we have um, Etcher for some ISO creations, uh, text editor, and then we have um, take a screenshot. I'm using simple screen today. Okay, that does the uh, bottom menu. Let's go to the top. Starting over here, you have your standard shutdown, cancel, restart, and hibernate and stuff if you pick the right swap file stuff. Standard calendar stuff, uh, volume things, and etc. This you normally don't have, so I'm going to remove it. Um, what did I just add? Well, it was logout. I'll do it my way. And uh, why did I put that up there? So I have a quick logout. This does not have that. It's missing. No big deal though. Let's move across. We have our system monitor with processes, resources, and file systems. I'm just going to leave that up for a second. And then let's start in the corner. Again, I'm not going to open a lot of these things. As the subscriber requested a quick overview, and that's what I'm doing. I've already opened up a couple of things, maybe too much. All right, here's your screenshot tool. Graphics, I did. I found it surprising that GIMP was in here, but uh, anyway, so you can do your uh, editing of your, your photographs and possibly even make icons if you like, because that's what I use it for also. Internet, any desk, all the way down to Zoom. So you got, got your couple of uh, three or four web browsers. You've got the Tor browser in here also for some anonymity. So Skype, TeamViewer, Zoom, WhatsApp. Networking tools, Angry, all the way down to Wireshark. So again, this is a distribution that is not everybody's cup of tea. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it up for a second. You can always back the video up and hit pause. LibreOffice Writer, if anybody cares, is 7.4, current version. Mate Dictionary and Document Viewer. I added simple screen so I can bring you this video. Other than that, you get these two installed. System tools from bleach bit all the way down to time shift. If you're not familiar with what time shift is, is a system restore utility that normally uses rsync or remote sync. Anyways, let's move on to places and then system. Preferences. Most of the time your displays default to your highest screen res your monitors can support on your graphics cards. So in my case, mine is 43 inches 4K, so I reduced it down to a little bit smaller with 1080. So I can bring you larger icons for the video. All right, internet and network, look and feel, networking and personal. Quick shortcut to startup again to turn off the startup sound, for instance. 
All right, and then I'm going to move to admin. I'll talk a little bit about Synaptic in a minute. I'll show you the repos, the repositories also. Control center. Now, I, I noticed that with the get help with Mate is blank. And you can see that. I don't know if this was supposed to be HTML or what kind of documents this was, but as a developer, I would look into that. So if you are the developer of this system, I would uh, take a peek at that. Either that or remove the icon. All right, because you can see that my web browser is working fine. Here's my YouTube site, for instance. Okay, moving along. About, one more time, 126.0. All right, you have your lock. Here's your secondary logout or primary logout. I added the other one over here. This button here is the same as this one over here. They're both identical and they're timed shutdowns. This is instantaneous and I'll show you how to make that. This is something that doesn't come with the system. I just thought I'd throw that as a bonus. Control center, couple things, not everything. I'm gonna open up Synaptic first. So if you do decide to install that, first of all, you can always back up this video and look at those passwords, but uh, once you've installed your system and you're online, then don't forget to reload. That way it'll update the package count from 12,000 to 65,000. All right, if you need to know what the legends are for this, because some Synaptic package managers do have different legends, and where's the stuff coming from, the repos or repositories for you folks that care. You can see any desk is up there, Docker is there. Uh, you can see Chrome, uh, Microsoft for the Edge browser. Um, you've got uh, Team Viewer here, it looks like VirtualBox, and of course Debian. Again, you can always hit pause on this. All right, so I'm not gonna del delve into that any, any longer. A uh, couple of things about themes. Just walking through really quick. Let's do the customize for a second and let you see the controls. So you've got quite a few to pick from. Granted, I do have a nonprofit website through my YouTube site that you can also get extras. Okay, same thing with icon sets and mouse pointers. I have lots of videos on stuff like this if you hit subscribe, if you're into that kind of stuff. I don't normally use the install keys. I do everything through the file manager, which speaking about file managers, this is 126.1. I'm going to go full screen my way. Just give you an idea what the icon sizes look like from Dinky to Jumbo and in between. Okay. Um, lots of different settings. Your Mate tweak, you can turn off the icons if you don't want to stare at them, like your home trash and network icons. Closing, closing. And I think I'm pretty much done talking about major stuff. Right clicking on your screen, you can create folder, you can create launchers. And we can create uh, an empty text file and etc. All these are pretty standard. Don't forget your change desktop is here. And these are your defaults. You can also bring in your own. All right, creating a launcher for one of these. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm creating one of these, but not it's not going to ask questions. It's just going to power down my system instantaneously. All right, I'm showing you the property of my launcher. You're going to be creating a name and putting a command. Comments are optional and you're going to pick an icon. Whatever you do, folks, save your stuff first before using any of this kind of stuff. Because these work really fast. System CTL, one word, space, power off is the command for that very simple some of you folks know this some maybe not so much okay thank you for watching